Today is the day. If you guys didn't see my closet clean out video, this is kind of like the sequel to it because I decided to go through all my closet. I kind of talked about how I'm trying to embrace my inner child more, like get back to my actual style, figure out my style because it's been completely hijacked by fast fashion and just like micro trends and like social media. So I'm trying to like go through my closet. I want to start fresh. I'm eventually going to like make a mood board and buy new clothes, go thrifting, all of that stuff. But in the meantime, I have all of these bags of clothes that I want to sell. I don't think I'm going to get through all of them today, but I'm just going to kind of take you guys through the process because I do a lot of like closet sales on my Instagram stories. I used to do Depop, but honestly, it's just easier with stories. So if you want to follow me on Instagram because I sell clothes, I'm probably going to be selling these over the course of like a few weeks because I got a lot of stuff to go through. So yeah, I'm going to be taking you guys through the process of selling everything. So obviously we have a lot of stuff to go through. So I think the first step that I'm going to do is go through all the clothes and kind of like, like sometimes I'll focus on just tops or just pants, but I usually kind of start with like the best stuff. And then eventually what all of the stuff that doesn't end up selling, I'll try to take it to a thrift store to see if I can get money from it, like um, store credit. And then whatever doesn't sell from that, I will donate. So I'm going to go through everything and kind of like pick the best of the best and start there. Mm, crown, that's a jam, that's a jam. So I'm selling these jeans. I kind of divide the things that I'm selling through <laughs> some jeans just amidst all the clothes. So I divided it by like the pants and shorts first, just like within the pile that I've already created. And I'm also like, I'm gonna post just, usually like I do a mirror pick unless the thing doesn't fit me, then I'll just post it like on the ground or something. I figure out how much to sell them for. I take a photo, I post it on Instagram. Um, I tell everyone like shipping and then I have to make like a notes app to organize everything So I have to put in like whatever the item is and then if someone buys it how much I sold it for their name and their address Which people will just DM me so it's kind of like a lot where I'm like posting photos and then I mean Usually the stuff sells really fast so It'll be like someone's already DMing me like after I've just posted it and I have to like tell people like hey Sorry this sold or like some people may Venmo and if they haven't paid for it yet then I have to like I don't know It's just kind of a lot. So anyways, let's Get into it. Okay, I feel like this always happens, but I put these jeans on <laughs> and James was like, wait, I like those. And then I was kind of looking at them and was like, should I keep them? So I feel like this happens every time where I like decide that I'm gonna keep at least a few things. So I think I'm gonna keep them. So moving on to the next item. So I've sold a few things so far already on Instagram. Not that many people have viewed the story yet, so I'm assuming I'll probably get some more sales. Someone's actually coming to pick it up. If people live local to the area, like I'll usually just like leave something for them to pick it up or like whatever, if they don't wanna pay for shipping, which is fine. Um, but yeah, basically what I do, but yeah, basically I just send them my Venmo. As soon as I get the money, I DM them and I get their um, address. And then I just like put that in my notes app and so that I can organize everything. I'm not gonna ship out everything yet because obviously like I'm gonna wait until the story expires to see like if I sell any more things. James and I are going to Palm Springs this weekend. Look out for the vlog, obviously. Um, and then I think I'm gonna ship everything out on Monday. So I'll have like a follow up vlog to that, but I'll show you guys everything that sold so far. Hello, so it's the next day and I told you guys that I would show you guys everything that I ended up selling. 
I'm kind of surprised. I feel like normally most of my stuff gets sold, but there was definitely quite a few things that didn't. Um, I don't know if it's because of the winter time, because like all of the jackets got sold, but then a lot of the crop tops and none of the shorts sold, which kind of makes sense. Actually, that's a lie. One of the crop tops did. So somebody bought this little crop top. I think it's a Nasty Gal one. It's actually really cute. It's very like trendy, obviously. I just... I never wear it. I think I've worn it like one time. I also sold this like oversized vintage leather jacket. I sold this Target puffer jacket. I actually sold this to my cousin. <laughs> I actually really love this jacket, but because I've been working with Free People Movement and they send me stuff every single month, um, I just have so many jackets now that I kind of need to get rid of some old ones to make way for the new ones I've been getting. I sold my beloved REI jacket. I got this for my birthday a long time ago. It's so cute, like I love the colors. It's so warm and cozy, but again, I just have so many jackets like this from Free People Movement that like, you know, I have to at some point say goodbye to things. I also ended up selling this little patchwork top. I also think it's very cute, but Again, it's just one of those trendy things that I bought because it was a trendy thing and I don't really know if it suits my style. I sold this PacSun super fluffy jacket. I actually really love this jacket. Um, it's just, again, I don't have need for it, but I do love it. It's actually like the softest thing in the entire world. And then I also sold this faux leather Sherpa jacket. I was really debating on keeping this one because it's really, really cute. And I don't really have kind of, I don't know what you would call this, like, Cause it's not like a super casual jacket. It's definitely something that you could kind of wear if you were dressed up to go out somewhere that was cold. And I don't really own any jackets like that. So I'm kind of thinking I might get like a replacement, not the same type of jacket, but something kind of in that similar genre. I just feel like I need something that's a little bit more my style. And then I also sold this really cute romper that I had, but um, the person came and picked it up yesterday, so. So that is it for this video. I'm not gonna sell anything else today. I'm probably gonna sell some more stuff next week since I still have so many more bags to go through. But next week I will be filming the like shipping and packaging process because I told everyone I'm gonna ship everything out on Monday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.